Mesa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Carrie Harrington. Before the end of the school year, St. Clair County Risa is going to be launching a Distinguished Teacher of St. Clair County Award Program. And to tell us all about it, my special guest is Brenda Tenniswood. She's the Director of Education Services here at St. Clair County Risa. And, and Brenda, when do you hope to name your first award winner for this new program? Our first awardee is going to be recognized very shortly. We are excited and looking forward to making that announcement on May 5th. Have you already been getting uh, some nominations? Yes, actually we have over 30 nominations already and I have to say selecting one is going to be incredibly difficult. Is that a surprise that you've received so many already? Yes and no. I wasn't sure how many we were going to expect, but realizing the number of teachers that we have across the county, um, I'm really thrilled about the response that we've gotten so far. So what is the criteria for a distinguished teacher of St. Clair County? And that was a process just coming up with the criteria before we rolled the program out. So certainly we wanted something that would be objective and fair and would run across the um, program or the process of selecting people. And so we're looking at things like, you know, how has a teacher demonstrated best instructional practices? How does their classroom align with our design for the future framework in terms of what innovative practices are they doing? What kinds of activities maybe are they doing extracurricularly? How have they really made a difference in the lives of their students? Those are the big four. Okay, great. And so, but I'm sure you, there'll be others as, as people nominate. So explain how that nomination process is going to work. We're trying to make the nomination process as streamlined as possible because we don't want that to be a barrier for people to nominate their, their teachers. And so it's an online form available at www.sccresa.org. And the form asks for the teacher's name and the name of the person that's recognizing them. And then things like, you know, if they're aware of them, the number of years that the teacher has served, what innovative things that they've done in their classroom. So the, in essence, the criteria is embedded within that online form. And it doesn't matter what grade level or subject, right? It does not matter what grade level or subject. And I will say that's going to, it's interesting because we, on the nominees, we have a cross section of every grade level and subject so far. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harris.